How's it going everyone? This is Tricks Meta Smash and we are back with yet another Nail the Trick video. For those of you who don't know, Nail the Trick is a rapid fire series where we take a look at bread and butters, true combos, footstools, jab locks, and everything in between, genuinely just to style on your opponent. But I do want to mention just before we get into the video that if you are someone who is interested in competing, Meta of Smash is holding weekly tournaments with cash prizes. So if you're interested in that, the link to the Discord and the link to the tournament are both in the description below. Also, the tournament is free to join, so there's really no hurt in signing up. And with that out of the way, let's get into the video. For this Nail the Trick, we're going to be taking a look at Jigglypuff. This is a zero to death combo that does require platforms. It works on all characters, and I say it's the difficulty of about seven out of 10. There aren't too many components to this setup, but you are going to have to do an IDJ. And for those of you who don't know, IDJ simply stands for instant double jump. And lastly, I'd like to thank Jin for submitting the combo. There'll be links in the description below to his channel, as well as other original content. So to perform this combo, you're going to want to start under the platform and drag your opponent towards you to get them placed on the middle of the platform. Then from there, to reposition yourself, you're going to need to do a pivot cancel up tilt onto the next platform and repeat the same setup again. And then to finish, rather than going for a third dare, you simply go for a rest. And I say simply because you're just going straight up for a rest. However, the timing is still very strict. It's a simple setup, but it is definitely not an easy setup. This is going to take a lot of time to get under your fingers so that you can actually perform this in a real game. Also note that when performed perfectly, this is a true combo. It's important to try and keep your opponent on the front side of your character, in this case on the right side. And this is where the up tilts, or better yet, the pivot cancel up tilts come into play. However, on fast fallers, it is a little bit more lenient, so you can still perform this if they happen to get behind you. This is not a perfect rule of thumb, but one way of keeping track of your opponents as far as how far do you have to pivot cancel up tilt, or if you have to pivot cancel up tilt at all, is how floaty are they? And you're gonna see that in the next demonstration. You'll notice that against Rob, Jigglypuff has to pivot cancel up tilt nearly the entire length of the top platform in order to be successful. And with that, that's going to be it for this video. Once again, this is Tricks from Meta Smash saying thanks for watching the video, and please be sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications on to see more videos just like this.